point. Do you mind so, if I have a look? No, no, of course not. No, mm. so, so the great thing about it is, is, mm. is it only picks up two muscle signals, really mm. basically for opening and closing. But if you hold an object mm. like, like a mobile phone like this, the hand detects the shape of the object through the oh. pressure sensor. So this finger realizes that there is something in the way and okay. stops moving, whereas this finger here moves further until it touches yeah. the objects and stops moving. So when I now remove the object, you can see that the hand has mm. actually sort of mimicked the shape yeah, of, the of, mobile phone. of the mobile phone without me doing anything. Mm. So, so yeah. it works It works connection to muscles rather than to nerve impulses, does exactly. it? Exactly. Yeah. So it picks up muscle signals from the surface of the skin, but of mm. course the muscles respond to the nerve signals that come yeah. from my brain. Yeah. And you don't make this intermediate conscious step anymore after mm. using the prosthesis for a long time. So yeah. you don't think, I have, a flex, I have to flex a muscle there yeah. to move something there. You just do it. Does it feel the same as using an ordinary hand when you... Well, I was born without my left arm, uh, so I don't really have the direct comparison. However, what I can say is that this prosthesis, due to mm. the functionality that it offers, has really become a part of my body image. Mm. So I, I feel like it's a part of me, and I actually feel that something is missing when, when I'm not, not wearing, wearing it. it. Yeah. So to that regard, uh, mm. I think advanced bionic and medical technology mm. can actually become yeah. a part of you. Do you want to run me through what you think the ethical concerns and yeah. questions are? This prosthetic hand, yeah. although it was developed by a spin-off from the NHS, mm. is usually not funded by yeah. the NHS. Now there are people who need this technology and who have a very strong motivation to get it. Mm. Now what's happening is they're trying to raise the money by themselves. So we mm. kind of see a market developing around yeah. this technology with branding and yeah. even advertising. <laughs> yeah. um, and you know that gives money even more yeah. of, an, of, a, of, a, of, of influence than yeah. it already has in terms of you know, a fair and equal society. Sort of the have limbs and the have nots sort of thing, yeah. yeah. Exactly. For example, servicemen who mm. return from combat with mm. you know, limbs lost, mm. they receive the latest from the government. Yeah. However, if you are in a car accident and lose a mm. limb there, you don't receive the latest. Yeah. Is, that, is, that, is that fair? I don't mm. know. Yeah. I'm just saying yeah, this, is exactly. a, this is a fair question to ask. No. So what are the criteria? Now, thinking this further, mm. what if in a not so distant future, mm. we will see technology that provides more functionality mm. than the healthy human body? Yeah. What if in 50 years there is a prosthetic hand that can do more mm. than yeah, a stronger, sound, more accurate, exactly all that stronger, sort of stuff. more accurate, faster, whatever? Mm. Currently, the decision for replacing a failing limb with an artificial one is that the mm. artificial one will provide more functionality mm. than the one that's failing or damaged. Mm. If that is the sole criterion, mm. it would also be a valid criterion if the technology offers more yeah. functionality than the healthy limb. Should we then cut off our healthy hands and replace them? Uh, yeah. Does that give an unfair advantage to those who can afford it? What kind of businesses will we see around that? Mm. I'm not saying but that it's we wrong. shouldn't innovate, yeah. right? I'm mm. just saying these are, I think, questions that we should discuss now and should not just leave to the hands of scientists mm. and businessmen. Yeah, it's true. I mean, at what stage do we stop being replacing functionality and at what stage do we start upgrading humanity and how, how okay is that? You know? We're not there yet, to be mm. clear, although some pieces of this project may hint that we are there yet, mm. we are not. We're still at least decades away mm. from being able to do that. But then I think it's fair to ask these questions now and now mm. when it's too late. And also you say that, that we're decades away, but in some, I was, uh, uh, in some areas, for example, the Olympics, <laughs> it's not as clear cut as that when the, ru the runners with the prosthetic legs are very, very good at highly specific things. So I don't know if it's as far away as you think. I agree. It. No, I agree. I think the, the runners with these blade type mm. leg prosthesis, I mean, they already come pretty close to mm. the time of able bodied runners. And what if some point in the future they'd be able to outrun them? Mm. So, yes, you're right. I think that's a good example. If there was a super hand, yeah. you know, that would make me able to, I don't know, climb walls, crush things. Yeah. Of course I want it. It's mm. a, it sounds like a really cool gadget. Mm. Um, should I cut off a healthy arm for getting it? Mm, probably, probably not. not. Mm. What are the ethical implications? Like, mm. should, what about people getting this and then getting better at a job? Mm. Will then organizations 
specifically only hire people with these yeah. bodies and will not having something like that be a disadvantage in some mm. way that comes about by not having the funds to afford this technology mm. in the first place. Yeah, yeah, you can see the ethical concerns that you were mentioning earlier on. But yeah, do you think, I mean, you don't think there's anything inherently wrong with the idea of improving the human lot? Absolutely not. I, I, I don't think that science mm. in itself is good or bad. I don't mm. think that technology in itself is good or bad. It's really a question of how we put mm. these technologies to use. To what goods? To what ends? To what means? To make yeah. profit? To make organizations even richer than they already mm. are? Or to advance our capabilities as a, as a species? Yeah. To, to make, make human this world life a better, better place? Yeah. Yes, exactly.